Good morning, this is Morning Prayer for Saturday, January the 22nd, 2011. It's Year 1, Epiphany 2, and Week 2 of the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 30 and 32. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 1 through 13. And the Canticle of Zechariah, Luke 1, verse 68 to 79. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia. Alleluia. For me you have changed my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Alleluia. Psalms 30 and 32. I praise you, you have rescued me, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. I cried to you for help, and you, my God, have healed me. You have raised my soul from the dead and restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Sing psalms, you faithful ones. Give thanks to God's holy name. God's anger lasts a moment, God's favor all through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I said to myself in my good fortune, nothing will ever disturb me. Your favor had set me on a mountain fastness. Then you hid your face, and I was put to confusion. To you I cried, to my God I made appeal. What profit would my death be, my going to the grave? Can dust give you praise or proclaim your truth? You listened and had pity. You came to my help. For me you have changed my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, and so my soul sings psalms to you unceasingly. O Yahweh my God, I thank you forever. Happy are those whose offense is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. O happy are those to whom you impute no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile. I kept it secret and my frame was wasted. I groaned all day long, for night and day your hand was heavy upon me. Indeed, my strength was dried up as by the summer's heat. But now I have acknowledged my sins. My guilt I did not hide. I said, I confess my offense to you, and you have forgiven the guilt of my sin. So let the faithful people pray to you in the time of need. The floods of waters may reach high but they shall stand secure. You are my hiding place. You save me from distress. You, sound, you save, surround me with cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel with my eye upon you. Be not like horse and mule, unintelligent, needing bridle and bit, else they will not approach you. Many sorrows have the wicked, but those who trust in you are surrounded with loving mercy. Rejoice, rejoice in Yahweh, you exalt you just. O oh, come, ring out your joy, all you upright of heart. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, for me you have changed my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth, and you clothed me with joy. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 46, beginning at verse 1. Bel is crouching. Nebo is stooping. Their images, once carried among your possessions, are now loaded on beasts of burden and weigh down the weary animals. They stoop and crouch together, these gods, who cannot even bring bundles to safety, and they themselves go off into captivity. Listen to me, O house of Leah and Rachel and Jacob, and the remnant of the house of Israel. I carried you from your conception. I supported you from your birth. And even when you are old, I am with you. And when your hair turns gray, I will carry you still. I created you, and I will carry you. I will sustain you and save you. 
To whom will you liken me? Who is my equal? To whom will you compare me? Who is like me? Some pour out gold from their bags and weigh out silver on scales. And then they hire a goldsmith to craft a god before which they fall down in worship. They lift it onto their shoulders to carry. They set it up in its place. And there it stands, immobile, unable to answer those crying out, unable to save them from their troubles. Remember this, fix it in your mind. Take it to heart, you rebellious ones. Remember what happened long ago. For I am God, there is no other. I am God, there is no one like me. From the beginning I reveal the outcome. From ancient days I foretell what is still to come. I say my purpose will be fulfilled. I will bring about everything I have planned. I call forth a bird of prey from the east, from far away a person to carry out my plan. No sooner said than done, no sooner planned than carry out. Listen to me, you hard-hearted, you who are far from deliverance. I am bringing justice close. It is not far off. I bring liberation, and it will not be delayed. I bring liberation to Zion, and I adorn Israel with my beauty. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. For God's people throughout the world, for all of our church leaders, for this gathering, for peace in Jerusalem and in the whole world, for goodwill among nations, for the well-being of all people, and for justice and for peace. For the poor, the sick, especially Stephen Michael, the hungry and the oppressed, for the unemployed, especially Bill and Robert, for those in any need or trouble, for the grief-stricken, especially Joe and Dan. For all who seek God, especially the Mercy of God community, Joseph Gerald and Tom Bonaventure and Donna Allen and Ron Francis and Jimmy Bernard and Peter Christopher, Stephen Luke, William John, Don Columba, Max Partholomew, Todd Dunstan, Brian Daniel, Raymond Patrick, Richard Robert, Stephen Michael, William Irwin, Brian, that they may find and be found by God. I ask your prayers for the departed, especially for Lloyd and Louise and Sarah and Howard and William and Lloyd and Howard and Stephen and Margaret and Dwight and Dan and Joanne and Hugh and Charles and Tom and Wayne and Martin and Kevin and Philip and David and Ramon Ivan and Joseph Benedict, Miriam Suzanne, Walter Arthur, Robert Patrick, Stephen Edward and David and for all those who have died. For the mercy of God community that it may continue to rush towards Christ for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you have raised for us a mighty Savior. Alleluia. The Song of Zechariah. Blessed are you, God of Israel, for you've come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant, David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. 
This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. And you, child, shall be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You have raised for us a mighty Savior. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.